Look who's here! Chicky made us through the storm. Hey, Chicky Chicky. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How's Chicky doing? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna let you watch Chicky a minute. And I'm already grabbing some seed real quick. I don't know. Come here, Chicky Chicky. Here you go. Look at it. I just get used to my stuff keeps falling down. There you go, Chicky Chicky. There you go. Get your little belly full. <laughs> ah. He has repeat the number of the past, can you? Yes, sir, Ray. Chicky's like the, uh, Chicky's the neighborhood chicken. He just kind of roams around, kind of visits everybody. And, uh, and, uh, comes over here to eat with me. Uh, he usually eats what the birds drop out. And, uh, Oh, he's hungry. He's really chowing down. Um, <laughs> Let me get this limb out of your way. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to beat you with it or nothing. We're just getting it out of the way. Come on. Come on, Chicky Chicky. There he goes. He's hungry. He must, she must have had a rough time, uh, which I'm sure she did with all this flooding and everything. And uh, not really, excuse me, not really having a home. So she's eating very well. So it's good to know she survived. Uh, so that's wonderful. Um, so glad she survived. <laughs> Bless her heart. I want to get it there. My other swing got <laughs> dang it. And, uh, but then I'd be swinging. So anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to cut this video kind of short. Not really, because I've already done two. <laughs> I like to spill my water. I mean, not my water, my coffee. Um, so anyway, uh, coffee. How in the world do we survive without it? Uh, my daughter made some really good coffee up there, and uh, she made a cake. Uh, she missed my birthday, so she decided she's going to make a cake. For um, so, uh, and my son's birthday, his is in July, too. Both of ours is in July. And she missed both of them. So she made a cake, made us a big old meal. Chicken and dumplings. Now, I was never a big fan of chicken dumplings because used to they'd be like long pieces of dough. Most of the time the dough didn't taste that well. What she makes her is a drop chicken and dumplings. Uh, drop dumplings, what it's called. It is good. Oh, my goodness, it was so good. Uh, so anyway, she had that for the supper and, and then had the cake. <coughs> she made a pumpkin spice cake and uh, with a, a buttercream ice and all that. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good. Uh, so we really enjoyed our stuff up there. Um, had a good time. Hated to leave, but yet so glad to get home. You know how it is. You just you miss home. You want to get back to it. But... Uh, she wanted us to stay longer, and uh, of course, my son, he says, no, I've got to get back and get to work, because uh, um, I don't remember, I think he missed one day of work, because we didn't know how, Georgia got hit pretty hard when we had to go through Georgia, we didn't know how, um, if the roads was going to be open, um, if, um, you know, if there's going to be heavy traffic or what, we just didn't know what to expect. Uh, we expected the worst and, you know, it wasn't too bad, but like I said, it took us, uh, instead of six and a half hours, it took us ten and a half hours to get home. Same drive, same everything. Just took it much longer on account of traffic. Uh, they would stop. And they would go on a little bit, and they would stop. And they would go on. And, you know, it was, you're just so tired. We got, we got, we usually don't hit ever rest, uh, rest stop, but we did, just to get out and stretch, because we were so tired of riding. Um, I think I told you that before. Um, hey, 
Chicky Chicky. I see you survived, didn't you? He says, of course I did. Or <laughs> she did. She says, of course I survived. She gets how it keeps all the bugs from around here. She really does. Um, she scratches around and finds her all kinds of grubs and bugs and all kinds of stuff. Now she's going to the next house to see what she can find. Now, I don't think there's anybody back, but uh, I'm all, there may be one more back. I think he came in late, late last night like we did because uh, I've seen the truck go out. So there's two of us back. Um, so anyway, I am just so thankful everything's okay. And so thankful we had air con uh, had their electric on so we could have air. And plus I had food. Mind you people, I want to tell you about this. Um, my cooler does not keep stuff cold very long. It just It's a cheap cooler, you know. It's not a nice one like a Yeti or something like that. It's just a cheap cooler. And I had seen on uh, on um, YouTube to where you can put um, styrofoam on the top and get rid of that little dead space if there's any room. So we put all of our frozen stuff in there and um, put the um, <coughs> styrofoam, a couple of styrofoam pieces I had on top. And they were thin. They weren't that thick either. They were thin. And then put the lid on. It was frozen solid when we got up to my daughter's house after six and a half hours of driving. Okay, so coming back, I did the same thing. Took them out of her freezer, put uh, the styrofoam on top of uh, the food. I put the ice on the bottom, uh, all the food, and then the styrofoam to get rid of that little dead space that was up there. And, um, you know, shut it down. That's all I did to it. And after ten and a half hours, the food was still frozen perfectly, just like I took it out of her freezer. So impressed with that. So if you ever have, if you're going camping or something, you can get some um, uh, some styrofoam from packing from whatever you get. These happen to be two flat pieces, so they turned out really perfect for it. Um, remember that. Put your ice on the bottom, your food there, uh, and then line it with the, you know, line it with your uh, styrofoam. I was amazed. I really was. I was so amazed with it. Um, that when we got, because I figured the food would be all thawed out, and it's just going to be a mess. We'd lose it all. Because uh, we had to throw away so much before we left because we couldn't take it all. And uh, we couldn't leave it because we knew power was going to be out and it would spoil and everything to be really bad. So, anyway, um, so just remember that if you've got to, uh, if you have a power outage in wintertime or whenever, Put your liner of uh, styrofoam on the top of your food, uh, ice on the bottom, all your frozen stuff, and then put the styrofoam on top and then the lid on top of that, and uh, it did beautifully. Ten and a half hours, and it wasn't thawed out. It wasn't thawed out a bit. Uh, just still, still hollow, a solid as a rock. Um, I was so happy with that because we had not a lot of meat, but we had enough for several meals. Um, so. Very pleased we didn't lose that, too. Uh, I'm thankful for that. But we did have to throw away a lot of stuff before we left because we just couldn't take it all with us. And uh, so anyway. All right, I'm going to say bye for now. This is Lavender Rose uh, saying thank you for watching. And uh, so thankful to be home and thankful that the uh, the mobile home's standing and there's nothing but just a few few down tree limbs or whatever, so thankful. Uh, the house isn't flooded, you know, whatever. We're just pretty grateful. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, uh, thanks for coming on the journey of the, uh, the uh, I think it's Ima, Ima, was it her name? Uh, the Ima hurricane come through, Ima, whatever. Um, however you pronounce it. Uh, so thank you for coming with us. And uh, like I said, it uh, we were just really lucky. We really was because there's going to be so many that was not. So uh, I just feel so, so lucky that everything turned out as good as it did. All right, bye for now. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Lavender Rose and bye for now.